Let's all grow together. What's up, YouTube? So today I'm gonna be talking about the GTAC. I've been trying to bypass this and making this video for my webpage, which you can find at simplifiedbydylan.com. Right at the very top, you'll see my project list, and GTAC will be the one on the left. Um, the GTAC BIOS is, has a NIST BIOS, and it's been the first BIOS I haven't been able to bypass the security on, so I've been doing some research on it, and I finally figured out the reason why I can't pass it. Mainly, that's the fact that uh, the NIST BIOS is so what it stands for is National Institute of Security and Technology, and it is used in not on, or used in and by not only our government officials, police, um, firefighters, um, EMS, um, but it's used all the way up to the White House. And so I don't think I'm going to be able to bypass this, and I really don't think if I could bypass it, that I would even post how I bypassed it on my website because i'm not trying to piss off anybody in the white house anyways i'm going to stop this and show you guys officially took me to the white towel i threw in on trying to bypass this this is like from the pres. this is like the white house executive of o uh, office of the president office of management and budget washington dc and it goes down to talk about the National Institute of Standard and or Standards and Technology. I got that wrong, I guess. Provide a checklist for protection of remote information, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to continue to read because I'm afraid I'll get in trouble just for that. <laughs> uh, so anyways, this GTAC, I'm not going to be able to bypass. And when I got this from Hacksy.tech, uh, I did for sure call GTAC and ask them if anybody had reported it lost and stolen. And they probably have not because the you know type of trouble they might get in for losing such a critical tool. Um, so I'm just letting you guys know out there, if you were watching this and you know this is your GTAC right here, then you can have it back. I even bought a little piece and replaced the back right there. This was broken off when I got it. Um, and so it's got all its little gadgets still. It's got the main case. It's got the charger. You want it back? It's yours. Just let me know who you are and call me up 207-6303. That's me. But <clears throat> so I, I've learned a lot about the NIST BIOS, um, running different command prompts about it. And it's very intriguing if you guys know anything about CMD, DOS, um, and the code that is shown right there. You can learn a little bit about Windows Management Instrument Control, and it told me as much as I'll ever be able to know, probably, because I'm over this. The pleasure of using one of these. This is honestly one of the fastest computers I've used, and I never got to get into the bio, so it tells me that I don't even get to use the full features of this computer until I get into the BIOS, um, you know, without, without that password and uh, I think I might have found out the password I don't want to even try to put it in though I'm like I woke up this morning after reading all this and like I turn on the GTAC and it says um, failed attempt to connect to my Galaxy S9 Plus was sitting next to it and I'm like okay so that's got to be something to do with the NFC chip and so probably somebody's trying to track this thing down because I sure didn't do it you know I had never tried to Bluetooth my phone to the GTAC, and that's what I was saying. It was a Bluetooth connection. So, um, anyways, this it's, it's crazy though. Um, I'm just thrilled to even have this. Um, if not, if you guys aren't going to claim it, I'm I posted it for sale, thirty eight hundred dollars, which I feel like I shouldn't even sell, but I'm going to sell it because I need. So to now I'm going to show you a little bit about what the GTAC can do, how fast it is um, with the wireless connection right now. That's only at three bars inside of my house. It's not connected to my Wi-Fi in any way, shape, or form. Matter of fact, I'll turn the Wi-Fi off to show you guys how fast this thing really is. Um, I'm going to go to my website, which is a website that usually takes a little bit longer to load. Um, and it just pops it up immediately. That's awesome. Um, let's all grow together. So here's where you can find the information about the GTAC if you go to it. Um, I've post I'm actually in the middle of publishing the information about the NIST security systems right here. You can see where I'm working on it, um, writing a little bit about it. 
But anyways, um, so yeah, it connects wirelessly. You never have to worry about having a Wi-Fi connection. So that's awesome. I got it connected to T-Mobile, which T-Mobile doesn't even know they can offer it, but uh, maybe they do, and they do it for government only. I don't really know. Um, but I know for a fact that that's like one of the best features uh, you could ever find on a computer. And not only that, it's got you know one, two. If you look at the bottom, it's got a third camera on it. Everything's in place, looking nice in shape. It's got um, two battery compartments. So you pop this or unlock that. Let's see. Let's see. Unlock this. There's a battery there which you can pull out and put back in. And if it's starting to die, and switch it over here to the primary battery, which is here. Boom. It's your other battery. And. Here we have your super fast USB port and an auxiliary port as well for your headphones or whatever um, because Bluetooth is not very secure for you know your army or whatever because you can get into easy to get in this back door to your security. There's an extra hard drive slot. It looks like maybe you can fit two hard drives in there. I'm not very sure. Don't know much about that. Um, over here we have, uh, let's see. What is this department? I think this is where the main hard drive is. Yeah, that's the main hard drive, which I don't know. The, I don't remember the specs on the hard drive. I'm going to show you, though. Okay. We're going to look at the info. And on the back, there's also, oh, yeah, don't forget that it flips around. Shoop. All right, so you want to show your customers whatever you're doing, something like that. I don't know what it would be used for. It's also touchscreen. As you can see, turn the internet off, turn the internet on, touch screen, touch screen. There's a pin that usually comes with it right there, and I'm going to reorder that. Still $3,800 either way if I don't get the pin before you get the computer. It's really only like 15 bucks or something like that. <coughs> um, and let's see, show you the back of this thing and pick it up. Flip around. Alright, so the back of it, here has your it's not a VGA port that looks like a VGA port but it's not so that's like to connect to servers I believe um, I, I have a server and it would connect right, right to that um, there's your Ethernet port um, and then there's your charging port which I have two chargers one charger that would go into your car and it has actually a fuse in it it's got a carrying case and a charger for home so there you are Got all that and it all connects up pretty nice and looks pretty good. I, it says something about being waterproof. Haven't tested that yet. All these things are kind of hard to put on, but that's probably why it's waterproof. But that's what it looks like when it's all the way put together. Oh wait, I didn't put that one icon. There's a charging port. Okay, so um, back to the keyboard, obviously, right? Um, man, there's so many functionalities with this keypad. As you can see, it's a smaller computer, but it still gives you the option of having your key, your your keypad, like the three, one, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's kind of cool. You just hold the function key. There's so many different functions on this that it can do. It's just it's a lot of fun. I've had a lot of fun with this, and I think today will be the last time I open or use this. I'm going to put it up and wait till somebody buys it. So, Actually, let me add in everything it comes with. So here's we are. There's the computer one more time, and there is the GTAC user manual, manual, which I printed out. It's got everything about the GTAC V10, G3, um, or V11, 0, G3, I'm sorry. Um, it has the car charger. Um, which you can see if I move the cords here, it actually has a fuse, a 15 uh, volt fuse or watt fuse or whatever amp, 15 amp fuse. That's what it should, should be. Um, therefore, if you're running in your car and you know something happens, it's not going to destroy your computer. The um, charger, which is really weird, home charger. I'm looking at it and I'm like, what? Like that looks like it's made in China. You know what I mean? And I looked on GTAC's website, and it, literally that, they're selling the same ones. They don't even have like the third um, prong for safety for, to keep it grounded out just in case of like a power surge or something like that. So 
Um, I think that's because it's supposed to be used in the vehicle, and that's kind of it. But anyways, there you guys go. You can see it says GTEC on the bag. It's a pretty nice bag. I like it. I like this because you can literally like put your USBs in all those holes, and I, I don't know what they use it for. They're guns or something. I don't, I don't know. Right? So anyways, bullets maybe. Anyways, thank you all for watching my YouTube video.